at YouTube, we are going to go mobile. We're going to take the CX-9T Agricultural Forestry Trailer, and uh, we're going to head on over to a buddy of mine, over to Darren Woodruff. He's got the YouTube channel Woodruff Woods, and so we're going to do a little collaboration here. And, uh, you know, it's one thing for me to give a review on a trailer like this because everybody thinks that we're biased, but I'm really not, truth be told. It just happens I did all the homework beforehand and then got set up with the manufacturer. So, uh, you know, just like you're out here looking at a piece of machinery, you know, what's it look like? How is it built? You know, is this guy giving a fair and balanced review? I do my best. Um, like I said, we just happen to be a dealer for these different companies, but... Um, I love them. I, I love the products that we sell. Um, we use them personally here around our own wood yard. So uh, let's get this uh, finished, hooked up, fired up, and uh, taken over to Darren's house. Stay tuned. So Darren's been over to our wood lot but I have not been over to his. Um, he came over and bought a brute force wrapper off of us and uh, we got talking and found out he's only like four minutes away from where we are. So it's uh, pretty neat that you've got two firewood YouTube guys all in the same neighborhood. You know, we're out in a rural spot. So I think if you're within five miles, that should be, you know, neighborly at least, right? So, um, Never been over to his place. I know he's got a little John Deere tractor. Well, not little, little, but probably 30 horsepower, give or take, which is going to be spot on perfect for uh, the CX-9T trailer to get towed around with. So, uh, like I said, want somebody else to do an honest review of something that we've got, and uh, he's the closest one that I've got. So, let's head on over to his place, and we'll show you what it's all about. As I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video here, uh, AJ from Shaver Equipment was going to stop by with a toy for us to play with. So I'm going to hand the microphone to him, let, let him do the intro on this <laughs> because this thing is pretty cool. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. Yeah, like I said, you know, it's it's one of those things. It's kind of like coming over to your friend's house you know, to play with different Tonka toys or ride bicycles or something. So instead of Tonka toys and bikes, we have grapple trailers, tractors, and chainsaws. So it, it all kind of works out pretty well. Um, the trailer that I brought over to play with is our new Camex. It's a CX-9T. Uh, some consider it an ATV trailer, but there is no way this one's an ATV trailer. Maybe the smaller series, like the 7 or something, but um, this one's really designed for like a 30-horse tractor or bigger, and, and Darren has this nice John Deere, what is it, a 2032R, and uh, it pulled it down the road just nice. We got some aerial drone footage there too, so... Um, the trailer itself, it's about 42 inches across on the, the removable headache rack. Those poles will pivot and swing. Uh, front to back, I think it's right about eight feet too. Um, the loader itself is a PID uh, 19, uh, which means it's 11 feet from front to back. Um, from the center of the turn tubes where I'm standing to the center of the grapple there at the very end of the trailer. And believe it or not, this is actually supposed to pick up 2,000 pounds. And after the last video that we did down at the neighbor's house, I'm gonna say it holds pretty true because uh, we had those two pieces of, of pine in the grapple at the same time, did the 360, you know, spin to put it up towards the front of the trailer and it did it flawlessly. So 
Um, we'll get the cameras kind of moved around here and uh, just do a little walk around quick here at Darren's Woodyard. All right, so Darren's going to jockey for a position here. We've got a load of maple that he wants to move up a little bit closer to his splitting station. I guess I'm spoiled with the uh, the articulated wheels on the tool cat because it goes right around when I need it to go.
I have to ask Darren what horsepower his tractor is. I want to say it's somewhere in that 30 kind of range, but... That's a nice little log right there. things up here where he's used to processing.
So what do you think now, now that you unloaded your first load of logs? Well, it, it would take some getting used to, like any other piece of equipment. You know, you have to learn a little bit of the feel of it. Um, you know, it wouldn't take long, though, because it does operate just like my backhoe, at least in terms of the arm. Yeah. The uh, rotating of the, uh, the, the grapple is a little bit weird to me. I don't know if I had it backwards in my head or, or whatever, but I, I think... Even as I got towards the end of it, I noticed I was getting smoother with it. Yeah. So, uh, it, and it's more, it's more powerful than I anticipated. Yeah, and we're only running the, the engine at half throttle. There's no reason to make these things scream and really just make them go crazy. It, it's literally that six to about nine gallons a minute, but it, it's the PSI like we were talking about when you were loading stuff. Just like when you're in your with the wood splitter and you're trying to split and you're going through things like all the brute force stuff that we run is based around that 3000 PSI mark. Well, that PSI is your splitting tonnage. It's what sends that chrome part of the cylinder out. Well, guess what? This is a cylinder. There's your chrome part. So as you're pushing out, it's lifting up. So we're taking that pressure and transforming that into lifting capacity. And, you know, like when we're doing the last walk around here, we've got a pressure gauge just to the left-hand side of the, the controls. So if you're picking up something and it doesn't want to pick it up and that gauge is tacked out at 3,000 PSI, you're at limit. <laughs> you're there. Put her down. Bring it closer and do something. Grab a half. Use the winch. Do yeah. a combination of something. But, yeah, I mean, you know, for the trailer weighing what it does, even like the last couple of logs that he was spinning out there, you know, they were a good, you know, 10, 11 inches on either end by about 12 and a half feet long. Because what do you bring them in the dump trailer? Yeah, I do. Yep. So we know they're about that in length. And wow. you know, we put our palm up on they're it. They're 12 still... four to be exact. There you go. I, I use the uh, loggers ruler, oh, you know, I got make you. Sure, for making sure there's no loop. Make sure the cuts are equal. So, I got you. That's exactly so you have right. that OCD disorder. Like I, do, I do, I do. <laughs> now, was yours worse where it should be CDO? That way it's alphabetically correct? Or No, it's not quite that Okay, bad. okay. <laughs> But hey, I want to thank you for bringing this over. It, it was fun to play around with it. And uh, I, I told AJ before, I don't think cameras were running or microphones, but sitting on the tractor, it, it didn't feel like I had the weight that I did back there. And I think part of that's because it's a tandem. Yeah. And, and I think part of that is just, it's balanced out nicely with the weight of the, the boom up here in the front. And then you get the weight back here with the logs and it just levels that trailer right out for you. Yeah. And, and I mean, I can cheat it with a three point hitch, you know, drop it down or lift it up, but uh, didn't have to do any of that. It was, yeah, I mean, we're running right around a 32 horsepower tractor. Yep. So, I mean, it's not like we're in here with a big 60 horse, you know, Kubota or something. I mean, yeah. this is, you know, I, I wouldn't have one of those orange ones. No, not the orange <laughs> one. But no, I, I mean, it's just, it's one of those things where I watch the other YouTube channels or I watch stuff on Facebook and it's this size of tractor or a little bit smaller. You know, again, I wouldn't pull this one with an ATV, but again, you know, that 20 horse to 30 horse tractor somewhere in that neighborhood is going to handle this trailer. So if you're on a bigger property, you're trying to skid stuff out, you know, maybe you're taking this tractor with the grapple all the way up in the woods. Well, you're on a quad path that's maybe five or six feet wide, and you're trying to move a 12 foot log coming down lane. But with this, you know, you're about six feet left to right and just take it out lengthwise, you know, yeah. um, like I said earlier, you know, everybody always asks what a price is. Well, it's now December, what, today's the 4th? I think so. I think, yeah, 2022. And we sold this trailer as a package for $24,000. Um, some people say that's ridiculous money, but, you know, for a tractor or a mini excavator or a skid steer, this is a purpose-built piece. You know, yeah. our customer, Pete, is going to take this thing out in the woods and do just this. This is why he bought it. This is his forwarding machine and it's how he's going to get his winter wood and his business wood out of the forest so um the smaller trailers are still in that 16 to 18 range you know we usually see the trailers are about a thousand dollars per foot of reach is kind of the ballpark number on the boom and then even like our road and forestry trailers a dump trailer is about a dollar a pound and that's not my math the customer went Oh, well, that, this is about what you're thinking. Like he was breaking it down, trying to figure out what the trailer was really worth. And it's not that I price him that way, but it does hold yeah. pretty true when I'm running these estimates going, that's a really good ballpark number just to throw out while we're on the phone talking with people, you know. But, yeah, we do the agricultural, you know, off-road trailers. This is a low-speed trailer. You're not going to haul this with the pickup truck going for miles down the road. It's just the, the bearings in these aren't really made for that. But then we get into like your skeleton bunk trailers, 
you know, we do a small one, like a seven by 12, and then we start getting beefier. Um, probably the sweetest trailer that we have for the skeleton style like this is our CXRF, which means rodent forestry. Um, trailer in the 50 means you can put five tons worth of wood weight on it. Wow. And it weighs 4,000 pounds. It's a 14,000 pound GBW trailer. And that 4,000 pounds is loader and trailer, power pack, everything sitting there, actual curb weight. And then we get into the full dump trailer series, and then we get into like the stupid gooseneck stuff, doing the storm, you know, yeah. hurricane cleanup. Now those get pricey; they're definitely spendy. Um, you're talking seventy grand plus, but you're doing eight foot walls and just it's well, a sixty it, yard it, dumpster on wheels. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're doing it for a business, though, it can right. make sense. I mean, for what I do here, yeah. you know, probably doesn't make sense to. It's to, not that big, but something on this frame. Yeah, this. This I could see uses for. I mean, as I go and do uh, tree cutting for people and bring the trees back here, I mean, usually I'm moving the tractor there, using the grapple, putting stuff in the dump trailer. I mean, moving it around on someone's property, it would be a lot less damaging to run this trailer over the ground with the tractor versus my yeah, truck back. Go and bring there. out a cord and a half of wood at a time or something. Yeah, you know? yeah. So uh, it, it's impressive. I'm impressed. So. It, it out, outperformed what I expected. So, see, and that's a non biased review. I'll yeah. pay you later. No, no, okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Holding you to that. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks again, AJ. Yeah. I'm going to wrap it up here for Woodruff Woods. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little extra effort that I put into this video. And AJ coming out here and giving of his time and, and showing us this equipment, we do appreciate it. Oh, it's no worries. And you can always give us a phone call on the splitter line, it's 833 splitter. It's 833-775-4887. And then my email is always sales at shaverequipment.com. And we're always working hard to be lazy. So <laughs> I like that tagline. It works. <laughs> and, and just so you know, I will put that down in the description. I'll link to uh, uh, AJ's channel somewhere up here. And uh, you can check him out and, and give him a subscribe over there. So that's going to do it for Woodruff Woods. And we'll catch you on the next one. I can't say thank you enough to Darren for letting us come out and play and uh, he did a really really good job running the loader you know never having run anything like that before it's a completely different feel uh, the controls were very very similar to the backhoe on his uh, 2032 R John Deere tractor but just uh, with the dangle head on there and the wood kind of going back and forth and then being able to rotate it you know just uh, takes a little getting used to so he did just fine um, he really enjoyed the trailer it looked good behind that tractor it was right around a 30 horsepower tractor that he's got and uh, really that's what this trailer is meant for something you know four-wheel drive got a little bit of weight to it and uh, be able to go through the trails and stuff and uh, eh, we'll see if Darren does anything the it wasn't a sales call but it was just uh, like I said going over a friend's house to play and so uh, if we can ever get you a sales quote on something like this trailer or one of the road and forestry trailers or a big dump trailer maybe a brute force splitter or processor or even a halverson uh, processing attachment for your skid steer give us a phone call it's 833 splitter that's 833-775-4887 you can also email me at sales at shaverequipment.com again just want to say thank you for watching hopefully you found this uh Ah, informative or uh, just at least entertaining at best so we're always working hard to be lazy uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button here on the channel so you can stay up to date on all the good stuff we have going on and uh, we'll catch you next time thanks for watching